Yeah. Um, I'm going to read a very short poem. And that's why I don't really care about the time. Um, and it's like a poem I wrote four years ago. And I was, I don't know, I was very, um, is, I don't know, I've met some of my best friends in this space. And I love you. I love you. And I don't know, it was, there was like a moment where like all of them left me for a reason. Like I think they went ho visit their homes in a different town for like a week. And I was like crying by myself. And, <laughs> and this is the moment I wrote. I've never understood how something could be temporary. Forgive me, this is like very cheesy. It was like four years ago. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so excited. I've never understood how something could be temporary. Tattoos, hair dye, promises. The night when we decided the music of the Mississippi was inadequate. There's something too permanent about plane ticket. Summer is beckoning September. The pieces of your home are picking up and leaving. New York takes your front door. Texas takes your kitchen. Maine, the dining room. Oregon, the bathroom. Indiana, the living room. Nevada, the porch. Turbulence destroys what is left of your home. Minnesota smells different. It tastes like a layover. It tastes different. I have been harmonizing with the car stereo, promising myself I will not stop driving until I found every piece of home. My choir used to be so full. In June, it was standing room only. But July, there were a few seats open. Where there were a few seats open. August gives me back all the empty chairs. Gives me back an empty porch, an empty car. The Mississippi is laughing at my songs. It doesn't understand why I sing by myself.